Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to clean your condenser coils like a pro and save a ton of money. I typically charge about $100 to do a spring tune-up on a system. So over the span of 10 or 15 years, that can be a lot of money that you can potentially save. So let's get right into it and show you how it's done. First and foremost, make sure that you're being safe. Get yourself a set of uh, rubber gloves even some eyeglasses if you want to prevent that coil cleaner from potentially spraying into your face and getting on your hands. So here's our condensing unit. Uh, this one is not super dirty. It's got a little bit of stuff on it, but not too bad. But we're just gonna show you how to do it um, using this Viper coil cleaner. This is used for condensers or evaporators. We'll have a link to this in the video description. But basically, as you can see, we're gonna turn off the disconnect we're going to uh, spray this foam from the bottom all the way up, wait about five to 10 minutes, and then we'll rinse it off. All right, so let's go ahead and pull our disconnect. Basically, all you're gonna do here is grab these plastic tabs, pull straight out, and then on these disconnects, you'll notice that on off there, you can flip this upside down and store it in the same spot, and it's not providing any power or you can set it on top, whichever you prefer. Just make sure you cover it back up so we don't get water in there. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and spray this. So this doesn't say to shake, so we're not gonna shake it, but we're basically just gonna start here at the bottom. See that nice foaming action there? And we're just gonna work our way up. Doing one side at a time. Backside might be a little bit trickier since we're pretty close to this wall here. Let's see what we can do. You have to make sure that you keep the can in the upright position. Otherwise, you'll just get air coming out of your can. All right, I'll move on to this side. Now it's important that when you're doing this, these fins go one direction. So make sure you're shooting it inside where those fins are. If you shoot it like this, it's obviously just gonna hit the fin and not actually go into your coil. All right, so we're gonna let this sit for about five to 10 minutes. Let that um, coil cleaner soak in. And then afterwards, we're going to use a hose to rinse this off. Now, as a DIYer, you probably aren't gonna wanna hassle with taking the lid off, but if you choose to do so, that's what a lot of the technicians will do, is they'll just take off, there's one, two, three, and maybe a total of 10 screws all the way across. And then you can just flap this up, set it on its side, and you can actually shoot it from the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy this is to remove the lid. So we're simply gonna go through, move all these screws all the way around. All right, so I've removed all of the screws here. Now basically all I'm gonna do is lift straight up and there's gonna be some wires attached that go to this condenser fan. So basically what I'm gonna do is tilt this up and a lot of times you won't have a whole lot of um, slack on those wires. So sometimes you might have to just hold this in place while you do it. All right, so I'm just gonna find a spot where this will lay and it'll stay by itself. Now, if you notice in here, we have a lot of junk and debris. So that's the advantage to taking out the top. If you choose to do that, we can get all of this debris and spray it out. And in addition, we can spray through the coil. This is uh, very imperative when you have two rows of coils because when you're spraying the outside, 
you might not actually be cleaning off the inside coil as well. So if you have two rows, probably should pull the cover off and do it this way. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get our hose up and running and we'll start shooting this from the inside. We're gonna start at the top and work our way down. Now you can see as we're doing it through the inside, we're gonna push any contaminants out of the coil. So that's the advantage to doing it that way. But if you don't choose to take the top off, you can do it this way and just force anything down the coil. And it's not gonna be a problem. So for whatever reason, my condenser does not have any holes down here. So I'm actually gonna grab my shop vac and I'm gonna suck all that stuff out and make sure that the bottom is nice and pretty. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. It's made for outdoors, but since I've got the cover off, I may as well just clean it up. Now, if you're wondering why I have this jacket on my compressor, make sure and stick around till the end of this video and I'll show you why. Now, as you can see, our condenser coils are super clean, really shiny. And this is a good reminder too that um, even though your coils might not look dirty, in between those fins, you could have a little bit of buildup that's preventing air from easily going through those fins. And so this coil cleaner does a really nice job of making sure that everything's nice and clean and that you have plenty of room for that air to go through. Now, this is a good opportunity uh, when you do this to make sure that there's no debris or anything up against your unit. You definitely don't want to have anything up against the unit that could inhibit airflow. So go around the unit, make sure everything is clear of debris, and you should be good to go. Well, it's easy as that, folks, to save a ton of money by cleaning your condenser coils before the summer season gets here. Now, another thing that many people are concerned about is the level of noise that their air conditioner produces. Now, you saw that little rubber uh, cover that we had over the compressor. If you wanna see some tips on how to make your condenser quieter so that you can enjoy your backyard space without that buzz, check out this video, and we're gonna show you those ways that you can reduce the decibel count of your compressor. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.